guys welcome back to our channel so we are going to japan tomorrow and we'll be there for two weeks so we wanted to share with you guys what we are packing and what we're bringing along with us on our vacation so this video is going to be a look at the different things we're bringing in each of our bags and we're going to take turns going through our big luggage carry-on and little backpack it's basically like a big what's in my bag video except for travel so this is my checked bag that I'm going to be using. I bought a nice hardback suitcase because I've been wanting one for a while in this nice champagne color, even though it got all dented and fucked up on the way here. But let's open it up and see. So basically I have two sides. This side has this little zip cover and then this side has the straps. So I like using these little packing cubes. I got these on Amazon, but I know you can get them in Target, Walmart, places like that. It just helps me organize my clothes and keep them in different categories. So this one is all of my pajamas, which I'm not bringing like a ton of pajamas because I usually rewear them a few times, but since it is such a long trip, I have like a few tops and a few bottoms in there. This one I use for shoes. So my shoes are in here that I'm bringing, except for the sandals, which you'll see later, and the sneakers that I'll be wearing on the plane. So I have another pair of sneakers, a pair of walking shoes, and then one nicer pair of shoes for if we do nice things. This is just sort of, not really a sweater, but like just a wrap. But inside of here is my switch dock. So that's protected. And I wanted to bring it so that we can play games at the Airbnb if we want to. This is just a laundry bag that came in my packing cube set. So I'm bringing this along for clothes that are dirty. I can put them in here. I put all of my socks in this little bag here. Uh, this is my knee brace because I have knee pain a lot and we're gonna be walking around every day. So I packed that. My Yu Yu Hakusho hat, which I don't know if I'll wear, but I'm bringing it just in case. This is a bathroom organizer. So basically there's just all these little compartments and a little mirror too. And it's just used to store like makeup or bathroom supplies or really anything like medicine. Um, and since we're gonna be there for so long, I figured I would basically be unpacking a bit. And these are the two bags that I am bringing with me to walk around with. So I have my Winnie the Pooh backpack, and then I have my black fossil purse. So basically I have two choices depending on my outfit or what we're doing that day. I could bring one or the other. Basically I just wanted it big enough to fit a water bottle into or an umbrella. And then if you can like look down here, I'm not gonna take this out, but I have basically an extra bag. Um, it's folded up. It's kind of like just a big travel bag that's fabric. So if I go ham and buy a lot of stuff, um, I have an extra bag that I can check. Okay, so here I have all my other clothes. So this one is shorts and skirts and then a few shirts. And then this one is dresses and the tank tops. And then this is just another little, like I guess kimono is what they're called, little wrap thing that didn't fit in these. So I just have it stuck in here to fill space. These are my melatonin supplements that I take to help me sleep because I have trouble sleeping a lot, especially while I'm traveling, so I have that. And then I also have these um, immunity support gummies that I've been taking every morning. Um, it's basically like the same thing as like Emergency or Airborne, um, except the Zarbies, which is a natural brand, and I like their products a lot. So I've been taking these, it's just uh, immunity support, so hopefully I don't get sick because I would hate to get sick. Um, these are my face wipes. So these are the Olay 5-in-1 face wipes. So let's see if I can remember all the things. It's makeup remover, moisturizer, toner, scrub, something else. It's basically like an all-in-one face wash and the reason that I really like these and I wanted them for travel is that it's totally dry but when you add water to it it gets all sudsy and then you can scrub your face with it. So I use these to wash my face at the end of the day to take my makeup off. So I have those and then I bought an extra package of them to make sure that I had enough because I basically use one a day. This is my makeup in here. Um, I don't really wear a lot of makeup outside of cosplay so I'm just bringing basic stuff. The only makeup that I wear every single day is mascara and eyebrows, so I have that. I have sunscreen for my face to put on. 
um, setting powder, and then I have regular concealer and my special eye concealer that also comes with highlighter uh, because I have really bad dark circles, so I use that. Tinted lip balm, and that is pretty much it for that. This is my bathroom bag, so I've got all kinds of stuff in here. I've got my shampoo, conditioner, body wash, face wash. I use this one in the morning, and then those other ones at night. So I got these little containers at Walmart, and it's kind of cool because you can just put whatever you have inside. My mini sponge, because I like sponges to wash myself. Contact solution, floss, razor. This little head wrap is for um, wrapping my bangs up when I wash my face. Um, toothpaste, I'm just bringing my full one because I've been using this fancy one. Toothbrush, and these little hair curlers. I use them for my bangs in the morning, so they're not cray-cray. And I also have an extra pair of contact lenses, just my regular prescription contact lenses, because there was one trip that I went on where my contacts ripped and I didn't have an extra and I had to wear my glasses the whole weekend and I was very upset about it. So from now on, I always bring an extra. So I also, there's like this little pocket here. I'm not sure what you're supposed to put in there, but I put my deodorant and my sunscreen inside since these are just like loose things. So I just put them inside of there and now they are safe. All right, so this is my big main bag. Um, not very fancy or anything, but I wanted to show you my cute little travel tag of break that I made on Shutterfly. Um, and I have another one too that was from when I studied abroad in Japan. Um, and I just left it on just there, so whatever. <laughs> so this is pretty empty right now. Um, I don't really have anything in here besides my clothes and bathroom supplies. Um, and I don't have any fancy packing cubes or anything, so they're all just here. <laughs> um, but this is basically my shorts. Um, I have a few skirts and one pair of long pants and then various t-shirts. Um, I am bringing a bathing suit just because there was one spa thing that had a pool and we were like, are we going? I don't know. So I'm bringing that just in case, you never know. Um, and then just, you know, various socks, underwear, whatever. Um, a lip roller that's just in here. I'm bringing a raincoat instead of an umbrella because I didn't have a short for small umbrella so I figured if it rains I'll just try and buy one there. Um, and then I have two extra pair of shoes. I'm bringing this flat fancy pair. <laughs> they're not fancy, they're falling apart, but they're fancy enough. Um, and then a pair of kind of short boot things um, in addition to the sneakers that I'll be wearing most days and on the plane. And then this is my bag of bathroom stuff. Um, it's pretty generic bathroom stuff. Pretty much like normal hair supplies. I'm bringing my hair straightener, toothpaste, medicine, sunscreen, bug spray, <laughs> um, Kleenexes, hair ties, little shampoos. Um, I don't usually wear makeup um, in daily life outside of cosplay, but I figured I would just bring a few generic supplies. Also, look at my lovely makeup bags. <laughs> on that. Look at those. Um, just in case, like, I am extremely breaking out or something, you know, whatever. <laughs> Band-aids and thermometer in case we are dying. Just generic bathroom stuff that you would bring. Um, and there is plenty of space in here, so if I buy books or clothes, I think there's plenty of space for so this is my carry-on bag. This is from my like other set of luggage that I usually use before I bought that one. So I'm just using that. I'm gonna start with the outside pocket since there's just random crap in here. So we have my reusable straws, which I figured I would bring because I like using them. And if I have like a cup of water at the house or something, then I can just have my own straws. My sandals, which I mostly brought to wear here in Baltimore, but I figured oh, I might as well just bring them. Who knows, maybe I'll feel like wearing sandals someday. <laughs> and then I just have like the strap for the Polaroid and the strap for my robe and the strap for my wallet. I brought a few necklaces because I had this little pouch and I was like, you know what, why not? Let me grab some jewelry. So there's just a couple of necklaces in there if I feel like wearing it. Then inside, this is actually like really empty. <laughs> there's like nothing there. 
So maybe these clothes that I'm wearing right now in my pajamas, I'll just throw them in here since there's so much room. Um, but basically this bag is, I call it my technology bag. So this is basically all of my chargers. So I've got my phone charger, my switch charger, my, this is my portable battery charger. It's like the other kind of cable that's like not for iPhone. That's everything else. So I can use it to charge this um, and use it to charge my mini fan. So charge things that aren't phone is this cord. My Fitbit charger and my switch, like the remote remote thingies. I don't know what that's called. Um, I guess I'll unwrap this. This is just like a little bathroom robe thing. You've probably seen it in like the convention videos, but I just throw this on after I shower sometimes. But in here I've got my mini fan for walking around in the heat. And then in here, this is another one of the like kimono shawl, whatever they're called. This is my Aladdin one, which you can't really tell, but in here I have the Polaroid camera. And that's all that's in there. So I have like plenty of room to buy many things. So I probably won't even need my extra bag unless I really go ham. We'll see. <laughs> So here's my carry-on. Um, um, this pocket's empty for now, but I have in this one um, one of the books that I'm reading currently, and this pad of paper so that we can take notes for vlog information. Yeah. Editing notes. Um, yeah. And there's a pen. So inside we have um, my water bottle that I'm bringing that will be empty when we get on the plane. Um, I'm keeping it in here to travel, but when we're in Japan and walking around, I'm going to keep it in my bag with me. Um, my book club book and notebook for notes, which I will also be reading on the plane or in the airports or wherever. My DS, 3DS, I guess. Um, in case Look at those cute boys. Yeah. I only have Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon in it, so. This is my small purse that I usually take with me when I go places here, um, but I wanted to bring a backpack mostly to travel around so I can bring my water bottle with me, but if we happen to go somewhere that I, it's short term or we don't really need that, I might bring this around. Um, then and here I have my computer and my ratchet case because <laughs> I live a ratchet life. So this is my computer that I'm bringing so that I can transfer footage from the camera onto here so that we can empty the memory cards um, and in case we need to look things up like train schedules or anything like that as we're in the airbnb and possibly editing on the plane yes. editing yeah or watching things on the plane start getting videos up yeah this is the cooling rack for the computer um and a charger for the computer and then this is just a small um sweatshirt is trying to pad that. Um, so this stuff I'll all have with me on the plane in case I need it, but hopefully it'll be okay in there with just that padding. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much that. So this is my backpack that I use for travel. So this is just to go on the plane with. I'm not going to be wearing it around. Um, this front pocket, I just have feminine hygiene products in here, so I'm not going to show you that, but that's, that's all that's in there. I've got these nice little pockets on the side, so I've got my water bottle in one, which like I said, it'll be empty when I actually go to the airport, but I'll fill it once we're through security. And then my umbrella on the other. Um, I don't own a raincoat, so I'm just bringing my umbrella and I'll just suffer. So inside this, I'm calling this my self-care while on the plane bag. So hopefully everything in here is okay. So I have ibuprofen, hand sanitizer, my contacts, because I'm planning to do what I did at Katsu and wear my glasses um, when we go to the airport and then just put my contacts on there or maybe even after the first flight um, because when I first wake up my eyes are pretty like sensitive and I'll be pretty tired. So I'll just put those on later on in the day. This is lotion, Vaseline, basically same thing because I get very dry when I travel. Um, lots of band-aids. This is the one time Becky was more organized than me, the band-aids. I also have a couple of the face wipes that I mentioned in case I want to wash my face on the plane since it's such a long flight and I get very greasy 
when I travel as well. So like everything except my face gets dry, basically, and my face gets greasy. So this way, since you just need to wet these, I can wash my face on the plane. And I brought one of my head wraps for that reason. Allergy medicine, because, you know, sneezing. And eye drops. And I've got some extra hair ties in there. And another hand sanitizer for some reason. So this is my, like, things I might need to take care of myself. Then I've got my Switch. And all of my games are downloaded, so I have, like, lots of games on there. I am bringing two books, which neither of these I have started. The King of Hearts Davies novel and Good Omens. So maybe I'll read one and then the other. Maybe I'll switch between them. But I'm planning to read this on the plane. And also while we're there, because I usually like reading before I go to sleep. Um, I also have two audiobooks downloaded on my phone. So technically I have four books for the trip, because we also have the flight back to worry about. Um, my glasses, that's important. That needs to be on me this wallet thing that I bought just for this trip. So it's pretty empty right now, but I've got my passport and my cards in here, and then the cash will go in the pocket once we get cash eventually. And these are like all my confirmations for everything because I'm paranoid. Down here, I've got like these little pockets. These are sunglasses. And then inside of this pocket, I've got my headphones and some tissues. And then I don't have anything in there, so. That's it. So this is my uh, personal item, I guess, backpack. Um, this is my break eat a bag that I don't really use at conventions anymore since I got the lobby one. Um, but I figured I didn't want to bring that one with me. I didn't feel like buying a new small backpack for traveling around because it's really more convenient for me to have a backpack to travel with because then your hands are more free and it's not hurting your shoulders as much. Um, so I figured I would just bring this one because um, it's pretty, there's not much in it that would get messed up as opposed to the other one. Um, so in here we have, this is my like, passport slash money holder um, that I used the last time I was in Japan. Um, so I have a little mini one that has the money that I had from last time I was in Japan. So I have like a few hundred dollars left over yep. um, and some coins and then, you know, some cards and then I have my Suica card that I still have <laughs> um, and then I also have this other one that I'm keeping my extra credit cards in that I won't be using at the ATMs there but it's kind of like just for emergencies in case I need extra money <laughs> for some reason <laughs> um, and then this has my passport in it and train maps that I used last mm. time I was in Japan then I have my phone charger this is the bag for the camera, so in here there's just kind of extra things that I don't, I don't really need them on the plane or anything, but this is where it would fit in. So charging cord, um, the hard drive that we'll be transferring um, the videos to, extra battery, um, and this little white thing that I've never used, and the tripod will go in there. Um, so that's just going to stay in here. This is my papers, like itineraries and confirmation oh, stuff. <laughs> printed everything out. Yeah, I did. Our itinerary, oh. just in case confirmations for things. Um, my portable charger battery. My iPod cord, charging cord. Kleenex packs. <laughs> <laughs> and my iPod old age. <laughs> I don't have recent technology apparently. <laughs> but this is my, you know, 2005 iPod. Um, and headphones for my computer and hand sanitizer. And that's it. All right. Okay, so that was our packing for Japan video. I hope you enjoyed it. So let us know in the comments below whose stuff you liked better. Who won the challenge? Yeah. I just made it into a challenge just now. Comment below uh, whose stuff is better. But you know, if you're gonna be traveling soon, maybe we inspired you on some stuff that you can bring. Hopefully we didn't forget anything. Look forward to the Japan vlogs. Yeah. Thanks for watching.